Well, guys, so <clears throat> I was driving back from school. We had a Thanksgiving dinner, and I, pa I passed this, and I was looking at the water, and it was just like God spoke to my spirit. So I'm like, well, I'm going to pull over, and I'm going to get my video camera out, and I'm going to start talking. So this is what came to my mind. Okay. As you can see, if you look out through here, the water is real deep and stuff. And then, as you start coming in, it gets shallow and there's places where there's dry, like there's land and then it just keeps getting shallower and shallower, right? So, as I was looking at this and I drove by and I got like all the way up here to the end of the road and I'm like, well, I'm just going to stop <clears throat> and talk about this. So, anyway, so this is what spoke within my spirit. You know, in times in our life, we start off like this out here full of water, you know, full of life, as you should say. And then whenever you have trials and, and things that come your way, it's like s slowly through the trials and, tr you know, tribulations that you've be, like, been through, there's different layers in life that you go through. And so when you get down here to the bottom, it's like very dry, very shallow, and it just spoke to my spirit because us as Christians, we can get here to this place. But yet, when I kept looking and I kept thinking on it, and I'm like, you know, when we get to this place, we've got to go where there's life, where there's water out through there. If you just look and, you know, it says in the Bible, if you seek him, you'll find him. And even if you're here at this place for a short time, Sometimes it may feel like for a long time, but even if you're here in this dryness and there's still water there, and if you look out, you can go deeper and deeper. You know that this here is not the end, but if you press and you um, put your faith in God and have courage and strength and, and have faith in God, you can get back out where there's life and where there's water. Um, <clears throat> that may not make sense to you, but it, within me, within my spirit, that's what God spoke with me. And um, a lot of times we get here, we get to where there's there's just dry and very, very few water. And, um, but you know, I'm thankful even, even whenever you're at the lowest of the low, you know, there's always hope and there's, you know, you've always got to have the faith that, you know, there's going to be a brighter day. And I'm thankful for how, how God can just use this beauty and make things um, clear to you. What is this? I'm just really thankful for that. And um, I don't know. I just felt like sharing that with you all. And it's just so pretty out here and peaceful and um but we're like, even though at times you're in like a drought where there's no water and stuff, there's still life and there's still hope. You just have to cling on to God's word and know that, you know, whatever you're faced with in life, that God's got it and God's in control. And, um, you know, that verse where it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Um, and, you know, at times, us as Christians, you know, whenever things happen to us and at times you try to be strong and sometimes you just like, it's like, can you really be strong? You know what I mean? But, you know, if you think about it, you know, when you're up on a mountain, you know, everything's good and you can talk about your troubles and your trials and the things that God had brought you through. But whenever you're up on that mountain, you're not really struggling. But it's in these times whenever you're here in this dry, just dryness in your life, that's when your faith kicks in. And that's where whenever you um, really start relying on God's word and stuff. And um, even though at times you feel like you can't walk and, and, and move forward, but you know you got to. And you know that even at the end of ourself, like Pastor Jeff would say, there's God. And even at your lowest, God knows before us. He knows behind us. He knows every which way that we turn in life. And he knows every situation that we're going to, you know, go through in life. And we shouldn't worry. Even when things like sickness or death or um, 
you know, when you lose a loved one and sadness seeps over you or sickness or, you know, depression, whatever it might be, you know, at the end of ourself, there's a God and there's a God that is there with open arms and there's a God that's, that's wanting us to totally rely on him. Even, even during the, the dry point of your life, there's still water. And, you know, if you go to that water where there's life, you know, you'll have it abundantly. And that's just what spoke to me and spoke to my heart. You know, sometimes we're here and sometimes we feel like we're just, we're just staying here. But, um, <clears throat> even if, even if you look at this, you know, make sure this is still playing. If you look at this, there's still water like all the way down. And at times when you're in your life, you feel like you're in a drought and like there's no more water. But look, there's still water. There's dryness, but there's still water. And the water just keeps going and going and going. And you just can't, you can't give up. Even when you're here to this point in your life, one day you'll be back out here. And then when trials come and troubles come and heartaches come and sickness comes and death comes, guess what? We're gonna be back here. But after when we get past this, we're gonna be back up here. So life is a journey. Life is a process. Life is a lesson. Like we are, we're, we're going through our test in life. And without a test, we don't have a testimony. And I'm thankful for all the ups and downs and trials and tribulations that we have. Um, Pastor Jeff had, had spoke last night about what is faith. You know, you can have different types of faith. Um, and then he, at the end, he ended it with how God's grace is sufficient. And, um, you know, God died on the cross for us. He, he died because he knew that one day he could save us and he would save us if we have faith and enough to believe in him and know that he's God. And, um, you know, God's grace is sufficient. And whatever comes our way, whatever heartaches or troubles or trials or sickness or losing loved ones, whatever comes our way, guess what? His grace is sufficient. And he knew whenever he was hanging on that cross, God knew that one day we would need him and we would need to call upon his name and he'll be there to answer. Because, you know, God went through so much. God went through so much. And... If, if he could in, in, encounter all that mess for us, we've got to press on. We've got to pick up our cross and, and follow God. And whenever you see somebody down and out, help carry their cross and carry yours too. Um, that's just what I long to do, you know. Even when I'm, like I try to forget myself, but sometimes here lately you can't whenever you're, whenever things just, you know, like bombarding you and stuff. But we have got to, um, here come some ducks and stuff, but <clears throat> sometimes we've got to look past ourselves and know that there's others out here that needs help. And there's others out here by our word and by our testimony will be a lot. And that's what I want to be. You know, I've, I've had faults and, and troubles in my life as well as you have, but as long as I'm a willing vessel for God and... I've always said, as long as I have breath, I'm going to, you know, tell of what God's done for me. And um, I'm just really thankful for that. His grace is sufficient. His mercy is sufficient. And he is all that we need. He is the well of living water. Even when we're at a dry point in our life. He's a God of new beginnings. He's a God of hope. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of peace. He's a God of... Of, of wisdom he's a god of encouragement he's god he's god he's god of everywhere he's god of everything that we need everything that we're searching for he is god and um i'm just thankful for that i'm i'm thankful for the the peace that i felt today whenever i stopped here because god's truly used this to minister to my soul and um if it wasn't for his grace and mercy where would we be where would we be what hope would we have to hold on to you know and i'm just so thankful that we have a um a good father that loves us and cares for us no matter what comes our way 
no matter what test comes our way, God's still God, and He's always on the throne, and He's always there watching after for us. And, you know, life takes us certain places in time, whether it's sickness or death or, you know, all of that can bring in loneliness and depression, but I'm thankful that we have a God that's, that, that knows everything, you know. Um, I'm just so thankful, and look how pretty those ducks are. Or geese or whatever you want to call them but if you open your eyes and your heart and your soul up to things such as just nature in general you know God's beauty is everywhere and God can speak through us through stuff like this if we listen and you have to have I guess that spiritual side to to see you know what God's trying to talk to you about but like I was driving by here and I was like I've got to stop and I went all the way down to the end of the thing right here and I just stopped I'm like I've got to do it and you know I'm I'm, I'm really glad that I did I hope something that I said helped you um, I know this encouraged me just coming out here God spoke you know whenever I was speaking to you all he spoke to me too and I'm just thankful for his mercy and I'm thankful for his grace and um, he's just good to us and as long as we have God, and as long as we keep Him main priority in our life, He's God, and He knows exactly what He's doing, and He knows whenever to catch us, whenever we're sinking or getting down here to this drought land, He knows. All we got to do is call upon His name, because it says in His Word, if you ask, you know, it shall be given. So keep the faith, guys. Ask yourself, what is faith to you? And once you hang on to that faith and that hope, I'm telling you, he, he will catch you and he will give you whatever you need during that time. And um, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys later.